All right, so we're sitting here with the day after. Uh, they're about to play a show here at Jillian's in downtown Las Vegas, and they've taken a few minutes to talk with us here. So um, I'm going to first introduce the band. Here's uh, KC, he plays the bass. Janine, she plays the guitar and sings. And TJ, the newest member, plays the drums. And is that it? Do you do anything else interesting? Okay. Okay. Recently signed to Gotham Records which is a label based out of New York. Who wants to tell the story of how that came about? Uh, I guess I got nominated to do so. Uh, well, basically, it was just uh, we had played the Hyperactive uh, Festival in New Mexico and uh, got hooked up with one of their bands called Slant, and uh, their guitarist was the West Coast rep for that label. The what? The West Coast rep. And um, liked us and, and started talking to us. Coincidentally, at the same time, we had sent out a bunch of press kits uh, to different labels across the country uh, for a long time, and uh, that crossed the desk of uh, Gotham Records and our guy who started who contacted us as well. So we were talking to the the West Coast rep for Gotham and their A and R guy, and they didn't know that they were both talking to us. So it's was, it was kind of like one of those meant to be serendipity, which I used the other day, uh, kind of situation. So that's basically how it, how it happened, more or less. You just finished wrapping up recording and your first album for Gotham, right? And uh, do you want to talk a little bit about the direction the music's taking? I would just say definitely getting back to the 90s. Um, I got a delay pedal, so that definitely helped a lot. And uh, no, just, I mean, there's still, you know, some of the older stuff in there, but a little more, I don't know, what would it be called? Like, uh, like it's, it's a progression, definitely, from the last couple of records and what we've done in the, in the past. But it's like, it's kind of almost going full circle in a way. A lot of it sounds like stuff that we sounded like, you know, a few years ago, but like updated, like an updated version of it. So, kicking up a notch. Yeah. A lot of experimentation on the record, a lot of things that we probably wouldn't have normally done uh, that we had an opportunity to do this time that we took advantage of. Um, but it says, sounds great, and I, I like it. Why did you have more of an opportunity this time? I mean, was it a funding thing, or was it just a... Uh, well, we wanted to, to make the best record possible, and um, so it was the opportunities were just there to do, so we just kind of kind of did it. Um, it wasn't necessarily a funding issue, it was just... Uh, no, it was... Uh, we had more things at our disposal this time. But we didn't have much time. No, no. So we, we just kind of went with what we... Yeah, we had like some, we had deadlines moved up on us, so for um, for the release, so we kind of, yeah, it went up two weeks earlier than we were told, so we just, we would write some of those songs, like the last three songs we wrote were like literally in three days, yeah. and those are my favorite songs. Yeah, so. the, whole re the whole record was, uh, we when, when Gotham decided, I guess, that they're going to pick us up, they asked us if we could have a, a full length record ready by October. And by October, he meant August. And we're going to say now that we, we weren't ready. <laughs> no, we weren't. So I'm sorry, we Gotham. Said, yes, we, we weren't. We, were we said, we weren't. yeah. Uh, but the, the new songs that we wrote really fast ended up being really, really good and probably are the best songs on the record. So very, very happy with it. Yeah. Yeah, it was great with, you know, TJ Hop right in here and nailed it out. So it was good. Yeah. It helped. I guess we're all on the same page with them and it was good. So exactly. it really helps when, when everybody now. For the first time, almost ever, in Isn't this band, music? yeah, is, is musically on the same page. It's a lot. It, it takes a lot of stress off of us in terms of, uh, you know, writing music and just kind of like a lot of times we had to kind of suggest parts to play for other players, and, and we don't really have to do that with TJ. He just kind of gets it, you know, because he's, he's right there musically. I, I had to learn all the old songs basically and kind of like at least the ones that we recorded put my touch on it from what the previous drummer had done and just kind of learning that and then taking that and kind of spinning it a little bit to my liking I guess and then um, my, my three favorite songs on the record are the ones that they wrote with me <laughs> I don't think maybe it's because I had something or like put in my input right away I guess but those are my favorites too yeah so, so it's not just me <laughs> but yeah, I, I really like the direction the new songs are going, and I think it has a lot of room to expand and 
go further. So. It's gonna be a fun time. It's gonna be a lot easier this year than last year. Last year, uh, Where and when? Uh, October 20th and 21st. Uh, the first one is at Zia Record Exchange uh, for the all ages kids, and uh, the second one is at the ER on uh, the following day um, for those who like to partake in alcohol. <laughs> and um, no, both are gonna be a lot of fun. Like I said, it's, it's gonna be easier this year because last year we did the same thing but on the same night. Which is, I mean, we've done before, but it's like, I, I guess it's, it's a little better. You played two venues on one night? Yeah, we played uh, um, Rock the Rock and Java and the Cheyenne in the same night. and um, a which, tired. It was, it was tired, it was fun, the, especially the second show. Like, you would think that we'd be, like, really, really tired, but it was a good show, the second yeah, one. Good. But, you know, you have a few drinks and you're really tired. Yeah. But this, this one's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> More black t-shirts. More black t-shirts. I guess I'm not. Um, well, we we wear black to slim down, but I mean, I don't know. 